Hey everybody, Chuck and Stacy here with VO Buzz Weekly. Here's a question for you, Chuck, and for everybody watching. Have you ever wondered how your favorite actors get to the conventions you like to go to? Well, we have one of the go-to guys who books them at these conventions. Jeff Sidney of Celebrity Talent Booking is here to talk all about it. Let's, Let's get, get buzzed. Buzz. Turn it up. Get ready. You're tuned in to VO Buzz Weekly. Weekly. And now, prepare to get seriously buzzed with your hosts, Chuck Duran and Stacey J. Aswan. Guys, our guest is the go-to manager responsible for bringing A-list voice actors and on-camera celebrities to conventions around the world. He is the founder of Celebrity Talent Booking and the creator of the always entertaining Twisted Tunes. We love him. We're so happy he's here. We're getting buzzed with our dear friend, Jeff Sinini. Yeah! Wow. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow. Thank, thank you. Thank you. For, thank you. No, no, thank you. Later. Oh Autographs later. You. I got to tell you, dude, first of all, it's about time that we have you on our show. You've been mentioned a lot. You have. You've been mentioned so many times. And a the one thing that a lot of people out here. there don't know is that Jeff has been responsible for hooking us up with a lot of the great talent and mm -hmm. actors that you guys have seen on the show. So thank yes. you for that. We Thanks appreciate it. I'm just glad you said it because I didn't, if I said it, it looked pompous. I'd well, you know, yeah, but you're not that shit. guy. No, no. And, and, and not Jeff, even. You, you're always so cool and gracious yeah. about it, man. You're like, oh man, no problem. Da 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 da. And it's so cool. And the great thing about Jeff, man, is that he knows. Everybody, mm -hmm. <laughs> like there is not yeah. one person out there that he doesn't know. And most of the big, big actors that go out on cons and do yeah. appearances and stuff like that, they search him out. Yeah, Why? On your because he is the best at mm -hmm. what he does. Yes. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna take. That's the end of the gonna, show, ladies. So that's <laughs> Thank you guys very much. <laughs> okay. I, I don't want to say anything. We'll see else. you next time. <laughs> I want to take you out and just introduce me. No, everywhere. Yeah, right? I feel great. Let's let's talk we a little bit. Everywhere. We got some questions for you. So, okay. From your perspective, yes. as a manager, as someone who's on the booking side, you're working with promoters, why do you think conventions are so popular? Well, it's, it's, the, it's that, it, right now, it's the culture. It's, mm -hmm. when you go out to these shows, it's, it's a lot of these kids, when they were growing up, they, they weren't the captain of the football team. They right. weren't, they weren't the, the prom king or queen, you know, so to speak. They were playing Dungeons and Dragons and video games, and they were hanging out and creating games. Right. And they weren't necessarily, they didn't have a place where that was cool, quote unquote. Now, Comic Cons, they're the king and the queen of the prom. Go, they know yeah. everything mm -hmm. there is to know. They're the ones you go to for information. So they get to go to these places, they get to have fun, they get to be themselves. Yeah. Nobody judges you, nobody cares, and everyone just has. 99.9% .9 of everyone we meet is just, they're good people. And yeah. they just, they love what they love, they know what they love, they want to talk about what they love, and they love meeting all these folks. Absolutely. And what a beautiful thing that people that maybe don't find their sense of community in, right. the, in the world, that they have this total acceptance. And they often, especially the, the hardcore cosplayers, become kind of the stars, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, these folks, they'll dress in costume. Mm -hmm. And they just get followers online and people enjoy their costumes they wear or what they do and all of a sudden they have a following and now they go to shows and shows are like, hey, you have 100,000 followers. We want you to yeah. come to our show and it's advertising yeah. so everyone's happy. Yeah. It makes everybody, everybody's happy because the show gets extra followers, free advertising. Mm -hmm. They get to come and appear and do what they do and they make these costumes from scratch. It's amazing. It really is. Some I mean, of the ones we've seen on the road, are, are, they're unbelievable yeah. the time they put into yeah. these. Yeah. And the fan art is just beautiful. Oh, the ta it, it makes you sit there and it makes you wonder why I've gone by these, these booths and how are they here? Yeah. Why are you not working in a studio? Right. And you it makes you realize how difficult it is to make it right. in the industry. When you see the talent of these mm -hmm. kids, yeah. it's amazing. I mean, I'm blown away every time we go to a show. Yeah. Uh, these, between costumes and art and ideas and the creativity, I'm just, I'm, I can never do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does it ever get old? No. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, how you pause. The That's travel honest. gets old. You know, yeah. traveling by yourself and meeting everyone, that, that yeah. part of it does get old. Yeah. It gets very, it's, it's tough to, to do it on your body. I know it sounds like this diva thing to say, but when you travel constantly, it's wear and tear. And Absolutely. that part of it isn't fun. But yeah. going to the show and meeting all of these kids and, you know, it's, it's so fantastic to be 
to be associated. I'm, I'm, I'm not one of the talent there, but by association, I get to stand there and see mm -hmm. all the accolades that these people get, these yeah. actors and voice actors, how these kids come up and you saved my life. You, yeah. Your cartoon, your voice, your role, I went to when I was in a bad place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you literally saved my life. You were the person that made me who I am. And just standing next to that, how powerful is that? Yeah, that's really cool, yeah. man. It, it makes really, it, really it really gets you every time. Yeah. No matter how many times I've heard it, no matter how many kids have said it, every time it just makes you go, wow, man, the impact that, exactly. that this talent has. It's exactly. just fantastic. Yeah. And you know what's really cool about you, man? Is that I love talk saying cool so stuff, many. but the really cool thing about you. And listen, I, we're going to ask Jeff questions, but we actually know a lot of this stuff, yes. and we want you guys to know too. But one of the really cool things is that you don't have to go to these cons. You could actually stay home and just send your people out and collect the money, but you don't do that. You actually go out and you're there. I've talked to some of the, the women that you handle uh, for some of these cons. They're like, oh my God, Jeff is so great because he goes there, he makes sure that we're safe and he takes us, makes sure that there's somebody to walk us here and get grab us there because there's so much cash that goes around in these places that, that yeah. you know, yeah. and you're there to protect your talent, which is so unusual and so cool. Studio mafia role just yeah, because right. you know I'm Italian I'm from Boston all of a sudden I'm the protector <laughs> it's you the ever wear any padding to get a look a little no, bigger no it's all me there's pad. no padding <laughs> <laughs> natural padding no but, bulletproof vests or no, anything like no. that my okay. fan, it's funny because you go to these shows and I mean, I, I'm never worried about it, but yeah. people like Vanessa Marshall, yeah. Yeah. Ray Delio, uh, Jennifer Hale, you, you get these people, Ali Hillis, I can go on and on, but they're, they're amazing and they're adorable and they're real live women at these shows mm -hmm. who are not, you know, they're what, you don't want them walking around feeling, you know, they go to shows and, and, and sometimes they feel like, okay, I'm taking a picture with a hundred people just rolling through and people are at my table and walking around with money or, or anything like that. You don't want them to feel, you know, like, yeah. oh my yeah. God, I don't want that. So I take that all away. And yeah. they yeah. never have to touch it. They don't handle it. We do that for them. That's You're like cool. an armored car without the wheels. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I do in my spare time. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we're just gonna make it about you for a second. Bear with us, would If we have okay. to. All yeah, right. It's okay. all, your, all your friends and family in Massachusetts are like, oh, this is our guy, right? So how do you go from Disney University <laughs> to hotel and retail management to what you're doing now? Well, uh, it's it's a very long story, so I won't tell you the whole story. Well, give us the abridged but version the abridged of how you guys started. Yeah. starts with the gentleman to your left. Yes. And our friend, Jess Harnell. Yes. Who were in a band called Rock Sugar, mm -hmm. and they were with a big agency. Uh, correction. Still are. are in a band. Are still in a band called Rock Sugar. Sugar. Working on their Pretty second cool album. Pretty cool band, I must say. Second mm -hmm. album on its way. Yep. Yes. And uh, Jess and Chuck had said, hey, you know what? We're, we're at this agency and they're, they're okay, but they're not booking us as much as we think we can. They said, why don't you do it? And I remember that moment because <laughs> I remember looking at both of them going, uh, I've never done this before. Yeah. What? I don't, and, and, and to be honest, that's when I said, and, and advice that I like to give is, you know, never say no to an opportunity. Yeah. And they said, we'll try. So a thousand phone calls later of <laughs> saying the wrong thing, I figured out, okay, this is what they want to hear. These are the right words. This is the right terms. And before you know it, we're on the road with Rock Sugar. We're playing gigs. We're playing big gigs. We're yeah. playing a lot of gigs. And that turned into Jess saying, hey, you know, I get invited to these Comic Cons all the time. You want to try that too? And I said, sure, sure, let me try that out. <laughs> and I start, same thing. I started calling and no one would answer me. It was only no one, 500 phone calls that time, right? Yeah, you five, I cut it in half. Yeah. 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 So instead of, you know, going out there and starting over, I took what I had learned and I tried. And con after con, they wouldn't talk to me because I'm not an agent. I'm not a, right. boy, I'm, they don't, I'm a nobody. Finally, one show in Calgary, Canada. Uh, this guy, Kendrick, who's amazing. That show, Calgary Expo is great. Yeah. And he said, hey, I'll give you a shot. And I booked Jess, I booked Rob Paulson and Maurice LaMarche, my first wow. show ever. And not at that bad. show, the uh, yeah. not bad, yeah. Not and bad. from there, it honestly, it, not to make it sound simplified, but from there it just grew. And it yeah. was, yeah. it was, you know, Jess saying, hey, let me introduce you too. And mm -hmm. Rob saying, hey, you know who else I know? And before you knew it, I had already had friends through the guys yeah. and yeah. I went to them first and then it's grown and grown yeah. and grown and by referral, it's gotten into a world where I've navigated this world That's now and fantastic, I've made friends. And you man. are so 
good on your feet. You're you're great in the moment. You're really personable. You know how to listen. You know how to make people feel boosted up and important. And so that's I mean, you have things about you and your management style that you can't teach and you can't read in a book and you can't get on a YouTube webinar. So no. that's important. I mean, that says something. Just say thank you. That says something. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. And, and you know what? <laughs> thank you so much. And you know thank what? You, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. So, and listen, I want to add to what Jeff was just talking about in regards about getting started. And the thing is, he's kind of being a little modest because yeah. here's the deal. When we saw, when we told him in Rock Sugar, hey, why don't you go out and try and get us you know, some rock sugar Griggs, shows. Yeah. What he didn't tell you was that we were actually represented by Paradigm Talent at the time who was getting his shows. And so we thought, you know what? I think Jeff could do better because he's so great at just negotiating stuff. Mm -hmm. He's He is the guy that you want negotiating anything yeah. that you have that's important. Clutch. So he went in there and he, like he said, he was learning and learning the ropes and blah, blah. Yeah. But when he was done learning, he got us four Ooh. times the amount of money that Paradigm ever could because they wouldn't been able to do it, and he did it. And so, you played Download Festival twice. Absolutely. You still uh, want a name yeah. drop. So, I just, I no, know. Yeah. You're, being, you're being modest, dude, we'll and that's what's praises. beautiful that's about you. That's why you're a great guy, because you're not going, do you know how great I am? You know, we're, Let us sing your praises. You, it's well-deserved. It's well-deserved. I'm taking and, them on the road and, everywhere I go to introduce me. Where are you your manager. Oh, I think we've just created a new business yeah. model. Yeah. Um, but what I think is really cool is that you have, obviously, your hotel management background, retail management. Um, Clearly, you have leadership skills. You have the ability to um, take chaos and make it orderly. So do you feel like, obviously, all of that experience, how does that kind of translate into what you're doing now? Well, I, if anyone asks, my official job title is a cat herder. Because that's what I do. When a cat herder. When you're trying which is a to bring difficult thing. eight to nine <laughs> people to, all the, to the same place to do the same thing. Right. It is, un it's like you have nine children. And I love yeah. it because they all know it. And I'm, I'm, okay, walk this way. Okay, you're over here. You're, and then one starts walking. Going, no, no, come back, sit here. But all those jobs, in all honesty, I, I knew all along I was never doing what I should be doing. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I feel like, I, I mean, I, I, I get it. I like leading teams. But at the same time, the thing I said to everyone I've ever worked with is the day you look at me and call me boss, I failed. And you know, when we succeed, it's we, and when we fail, yeah. it's me. Mm -hmm. And that way, you know, that mentality is something that my, my parents gave me. You know, when I yeah. was growing up, it was always, you, you were always a team. And when you're a team, you succeed. You know, when you try to do it yourself, and you, you, you should never be the one. In fact, the and I, I know I'm gonna kill the quote, but the quote is, when you shine the spotlight on someone else, it shines back on you twice as bright. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I, truly, I don't think you got that wrong. That wrong. was eloquent, That was Jeff. very well, good. Well, you know, I, you. occasionally I say something nice. <laughs> What is your poetry book, <laughs> I just, I feel like that's true in life. Yes. And I, you know, I never, the, the, anyone who ever brags or someone's talking about themselves, I am, I'm immediately turned off by that yeah. person. Yeah. So I just feel like I never want right. to say what you do. So my, you know, and I have to sell myself for a living, but I like selling my team for a living. Right. Yeah. I don't, like, right. I don't, I don't exactly. feel like I'm selling well, And it's and a great know, team. Yeah. And we know so many of your, you know, of your clients are our friends as well. And when your name is mentioned and people bring you up, they go, oh, I just got back from so and so and so. And Jeff, man, he just, yeah, from start to finish. So you really have created an amazing, I like that. Actually, I, amazing Actually, I've had a few people at shows say, we watched the buzz and, uh, are you the Jeff that they keep talking about yes. on this show? Yeah. And I was like, That's the yeah. They, go, yes, you've they haven't had you on. I go, well, yeah. it'll happen one yeah, day. one day. <laughs> when he grows up, we'll have him. We no, I wanted to ask Please. you, dude, for all the people out there that actually don't know what it is that entails, all the stuff that, that you do, give us a day uh, in the life oh, of Jeff. <laughs> like, what do you do as, as, as a booking manager for, for these gigantic cons? All right, ready? Yes. The behind the scenes. No. <laughs> uh, my life, in all honesty, and anyone that knows me will vouch for this. Mm -hmm. I like to wake up in the early afternoon. Mm -hmm. I get my, I pick up my kids. This, is, this was a few years ago. I pick up my kids from school. I would coach every sport they ever played. So I was very active with that. We'd come home, we'd have dinner. We'd do homework. We'd watch some TV together as a family. Then put them to bed. And on the East Coast, remember, it's about 10 o'clock. So on the West Coast, it's 7. So I'd start my phone calls. 
I'd call everyone on the West Coast. How was your day? Because it's a perfect time. They're yeah, wrapping up. They can done. talk. Totally. Mm -hmm. So we would talk. I'd catch up with anything I needed to do West Coast. Then as midnight approaches, 1 a.m. for me, it's getting late on the West Coast. I'm doing emails and I'm just shooting emails off, you know, as fast as I can. Then by 2, 3, I'm talking Australia. And they're, they're you know, their time. 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. My, yeah, in the morning, East Coast. So, you know, again, we're looking at midnight West Coast. Right. And it's the end of their day because they're, I believe it's 12, 13 hours ahead of us. So yeah. I'm talking to them because I work with Australia. When I hang up with them, it's about three, four in the morning, East Coast time. Right. Now Europe is waking up. Mm -hmm. So I'm talking to London. I'm talking to Germany. I'm talking wow. to Scotland. So in, in, where, in my world, that's the sweet spot where I can talk to all the clients, all the promoters, get my emails done. It's quiet in the house. Yeah. yeah. I have my TV on in the background. The noise, you know, I, for me, when you were talking earlier, chaos, yeah. I need chaos. It, it's right. something that, that I strive on because when there's chaos and there's stuff, there's a hundred things going on, it focuses me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know not everyone works that way, but, no, but for do. me, yeah. that I want music on, I want the TV, I want people walking around, and all of a sudden I'll be mm -hmm. into what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm on the phone and I'm typing emails and it's it's become a routine. It's become yeah. what I do. All I need is Wi-Fi, a computer, and my and my phone. Right. I can work anywhere in the yeah. world. So that's your day-to-day -day when you're making phone calls. Yeah. When you have an actual con to go to. I I consider myself a master at travel now. Yeah, <laughs> I can, you I have your, your carry-ons like this big. Yeah, <laughs> I like... remember we went on the road once. And it was almost two weeks, <laughs> and I like... can in two weeks. And I did change my socks and underwear every day in case Good my mom's know. watching. Hygiene first. In please. a travel bag, I was able to pack everything I needed for two weeks, mm -hmm. and I used every single thing in there. And it's just. It's something you just become accustomed to. Every you Thursday, yeah. dinner time, the car picks me up, I go to the airport. I know exactly where I'm going, where to check in, what gate I'm at. Mm -hmm. I like to be at the airport and walk right onto the plane. I don't like to sit. So cool, man. And yeah. then you go to the show and it's the yeah. same thing every, it's the same setup, it's the same routine for the most part. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta tweak this, tweak that. There's a hundred little moving pieces that you have to make sure. Yeah. Right. Right, right. You do the show, you get through it. The first hour is chaos. Then it settles down, it runs right. Then on Sunday, it's chaos to get everyone paid and get out. Mm -hmm. You get on a plane, you come home, and you just get ready and do it all over again. Wow. And you love that. Yeah, yeah sure. What are the ups? Are there any, So we know the ups, right, because there's so much excitement. Yeah. Are there any difficult times with doing that stuff that maybe uh, are just really, really tough to get through for you? Probably not, but... Well, I, I mean, you know, it, everyone has their level of yeah. what they consider difficult and... and <clears throat> I, I'm the type of, per my personality, as you know, is I, I like to just be calm through the whole thing. So inside, yeah. I could be boiling, I could be calm as could be, but outside, all you'll ever see is that. I, yeah. I have never, yeah. ever seen you lose your stuff. You guys have known each other. You're all always well. like so freaking just cool, man. You're well, even keel. I appreciate no matter that. How, <laughs> no matter you. how difficult things may get, and things yeah. have been difficult, even with shock, rock sugar stuff yes, on the road. Yes, they have. And you've always been like, <laughs> I'll handle it. Yeah. And you do. Yeah. Well, it's so just, good. it's it's years of dealing with that. And yeah. honestly, having everything fall through the floor helps you because when you know what's going to happen and you know the bad path, you're like, okay, I, I can see it coming. Yeah. I'm going to make it go this way. And you just immediately turn yourself and you find a way to make it run right. And that's what happened. All the shows yeah. we've done yeah. and this isn't right. We need the plug. We need this. We need that. The next time, bam, I, that's all memory for me. And I was there the next yeah. time. Yeah. So that, in a way, that's what we do at shows too. Yeah. We know what goes right and wrong. And the next time we write it down, we have an outline. This yeah. is the way it's it going to happen. happen. So then everyone's Preemptive trained to run it right. Strike. That's yes. right. We're prepared. I love it. I mean, the bottom line for you is that, I mean, because we both have the Disney connection, right? I knew her before <laughs> she was Disney. <laughs> um, when, when you're at Disney, nobody knows what's going on that isn't magical and amazing. Right. So you, in the role that you play in this whole scenario, is nobody from the talent that you represent, the promoter, the attendees ever knows about disruptions or fires that are going on, right? Correct. So that, I think, is a huge strength for you. Well, my job is to make it easy. Mm -hmm. What I want, I mean, the bottom line is I want the talent to come to the show and be happy. I want them to see no problem. I want them to just get in the car, show up, smile, shake hands, kiss babies. Their job is to be the talent. Mm -hmm. I want the promoter to say, wow, everyone's here on time. Everything went easy. I didn't even see Jeff this show. 
that means I did a great job because nothing went wrong. Right. I want, if I'm working with another agency or I'm working through another prom, um, uh, manager or whoever to get the talent, I want them to go, wow, Jeff's really easy to work with. Mm -hmm. yeah. If everything stays easy and I'm the only one that has to take on all the moving parts and my team deals with all of the stuff, everybody's happy. Everybody wants to go to more shows. Everything is simple. Simple is the key. Yeah. So if everything's simple, Everyone's happy. Everyone wants to keep doing shows. That, Hence, that's the bottom line. Right. Hence, why you are the guy <laughs> that well, everybody that wants that. to work with. Yeah. That concludes part one with our good friend Jeff Sinini of Celebrity Talent Booking. We're going to be back next week with part two, so check it out. Yes, and don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below. And follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We love you guys. Thanks for watching. And just remember, you, you always, always have, have time, time for a little buzz. buzz. Buzz Weekly is sponsored by Chuck Duran's Demos That Rock. Rock. The voiceover demo producer to the stars is now available to you. Visit DemosThatRock.com and take your voiceover career to the next level. See you next time. And remember, you always have time for a little buzz.